So Jesus hits the scene and says, anger and resentment and bitterness cannot live inside of a heart that I'm called to dwell in. You know what I mean? The stuff inside of our hearts is just dead and rotting and stinking and jacking up our whole attitude in this life. Uh, We all have people who've done us wrong in this life. You know what I mean? Like, I get that. I get that, uh, you know, there's pains from our past. There's stuff that hurts. Uh, we feel a deep-seated anger sometimes towards those people. And there's probably people who come to your mind right now as I'm talking about this, or sometimes a group of people, you know what I mean? Uh, whatever it might be, there's no outward action that we can do that will kill that fire of anger within us, period. We can just carry it through life, and it burns us away from the inside. And even when we do church or we try to do gooder stuff, still we know deep down There's that fire, that anger within us for that person or that group of people or whatever it would be. There's something that's just keeping us from that final little oomph that could set us free and actually cause us to live in relationship with God rather than do godly stuff. You know what I mean? Even our prayers or our best efforts to connect with God are always half-hearted because we know that we still carry this intense beef, this anger deep down in our heart, and we're not letting it go for God or for anyone else because they don't understand what he did to me or what she did to me or they didn't even apologize or whatever it would be. We cannot repent with unforgiveness in our hearts. It's an oxymoron, right? We come to the feet of a holy and almighty God and we say, God, have mercy on me. I know I've done wrong. I know I need forgiveness. I know that I don't deserve it. But come into my life and set me free, right? And all the while, in our hearts, there's another person or a group of people out there who we will not show mercy to at all because we feel they've just done us too wrong. You know what I mean? We will not forgive them no matter what. And we won't set them free from our rage. And we excuse it by saying they just don't deserve it. You know what I mean? All the while, we're going to God and saying, God, I don't deserve it. Have mercy on me. It's an oxymoron, even our repentance. <clears throat> Jesus came to our level to show us what God's love and humility and forgiveness looked like on our level. You know what I mean? When we accept him into our lives, he forgives an insurmountable mountain of wrongs that I've done in offense to him. You know what I mean? If we're not able to then turn and forgive people the little pebbles that they have, imagine what God forgave to come into my life and actually give me a life. You know what I'm saying? This mountain of just hatred and violence and hey he forgives all this and then i look at my next door neighbor and say oh, he left his rake on my lawn that guy's a jerk man i'm not gonna forget like really dude how ridiculous is it that these little things these little beefs i mean and i'm talking even when someone justifiably does us wrong and there's people in your life that you are thinking of right now where they did something wrong like radically wrong painful jacked you up major league even that horrible offense, whatever it was, in comparison to the, every breath I breathe is in opposition to everything I've ever done has been against God. There's a far greater mountain than anything anyone on this earth could ever have done to me. We have to let it go. We have to let it go. We cannot hold it back anymore. Uh, And I don't care what they're going to say about, you know, uh, the the, the people around us that are are in that life, what they're going to say. Uh, to us, what the, how they're going to treat us, how they're going to uh, continue to offend sometimes, but if you don't let it go in your heart, it will continue to eat you and eat you and eat you. Bitterness and anger and jealousy, it's like, uh, it's like drinking poison and then hoping they die. And it jacks me up and it kills me and it just ruins my heart, but I do it because I'm mad at them and I'm going to get back at them. You know what I mean?